Hey everyone, it's Beard RDU coming at you from Raleigh, North Carolina, and welcome to episode 16 of Beards and More, my YouTube beard product review channel. In this episode, I will be reviewing a company from New Jersey called Lucky 13 Beard Company. But before I get started, let me remind you to please go ahead and click that thumbs up. Let me know that you like what I'm doing. If you have comments throughout the video, please leave them down below, whether it's feedback about my presentation or about the company lucky 13 beard company also please hit that subscribe button that button means a lot to me hit subscribe and then also if you want to receive notifications about my future videos just click that bell as i mentioned i'm going to be reviewing the beard company lucky 13 based out of the state of new jersey who have been in business since july of 2020. i first came in contact with lucky 13 and their owner ed when i reached out to them about possibly participating in my friendly beard company competition the rdu cup on instagram and he was super excited about the opportunity to get his name and his product out there but he also wanted to make sure that i had used the product since i would be sharing it throughout the competition so he sent to me two different scent profiles of their oil, opening day and Fruit Loops, as well as a container of their unscented butter so I could use it with either product. Now, before I get into the actual review, I want to explain a little bit about the choice of shirt I wore today. It's a Taz shirt from back in his ECW days, the human suplex machine for you wrestling fans. You know about Taz. And there's a couple of reasons why I wore this. One is it's orange and black, the same colors that Lucky 13 uses. If you're a pro wrestling fan, you know that Taz, who is currently a commentator in AEW, that he is connected to the number 13. But I also want to wear it because I'm going to provide a cheap pop for one of um, Ed's good friends who has a wrestling podcast called At Front Face Lock Podcast. Um, for you to check out, they talk about old school pay-per-views, stuff that's going on in the wrestling world. So that's just a nice little cheap pop. So on that note, you know what time it is. It's that exciting point. Let's get ready to product review! Coming to your screen from the state of New Jersey. Coming in a one-ounce bottle of oil and a two-ounce container of butter. First. I bring to you a baseball fan's favorite day in early spring. This is opening day. And its tag team partner smells just like one of my favorite childhood cereals, thanks to an awesome toucan. This is Fruit Loops. And together, this tag team represents Lucky 13 Beard Company! Alright, so now we're ready to introduce you to Lucky 13 Beard Company. Starting off, talking about their packaging. So their packaging, all of their um, oils come in one ounce amber glass bottles with a dropper top. And their butters, they come in two ounce glass amber containers as well with a black screw on top. In regards to their labels, all of their labels look the same. All right, so they come in, they have this black label, and it has Lucky 13 Beard Company in orange and white fonts, hence the reason I said orange and black are connected to them. All of their bottles and jars also have a list of their ingredients, as well as a warning to remind you to stop use if you experience a rash or any kind of irritation. But also on the bottle, this is where they are different. They will have the name of the scent profile as well as the different notes that go into making that scent profile. If you look at the butter container, the butter container I have is an unscented, so it's the same late kind of labels. It's got the ingredients right there with the same warning, but there is no scent profile. It says unscented because it's unscented. So right there, that would have the same thing that the oils have. All right, so let's talk about the quality of the product, starting off with the oil, since we tend to use oil in our beard before butter. And the ingredients for this, I'm going to read it straight from the bottle, are almond, jojoba, apricot, castor, meadow foam seed oils. And they use essential oils to create the fragrances, which my skin appreciates, really enjoys that a little bit better in fragrance oils, not that it really gets irritated by either. But essential oils tend to be more natural. Now, when I open up the bottle, you're going to be able to kind of see the color here. All right, so it is a clear yellowish color. 
And that yellowish tinge tends to come from the castor oil, which my beard absolutely loves. The oil, it is on the thicker end of a medium viscosity, so it's not a thick viscosity, but it's definitely not a true medium viscosity either. But my beard absolutely loves this. The oil, it feels fantastic in my beard. It doesn't leave a greasy feeling at all. Um, my dark beard, it absolutely loves the castor oil. Every time I wear oils that have castor oil in it, I get a lot of compliments in regards to how dark and shiny my beard looks. And this is Lucky 13 included. Um, in regards to the use of this oil in everyday type conditions, as many of you know, I like to test these beard oils out in um, different environments for baseball dad mode and jeep mode i have not worn this in the jeep on a regular basis with the doors off i've had it with the windows down and it works just fine you can smell the scent it's really fantastic but it does really well on a mid 70s day at the baseball field so it kept the beard nice and moisturized i have not tried to use the oils on a very hot humid day yet so i can't give you feedback on that so now let's talk about this two set profiles that Ed sent me called Opening Day and Fruit Loops. So Opening Day, and I'm going to hold that up here so you can see the scent profile. Opening Day is fresh cut grass, fresh cut wood, leather, and bubble gum. So when I first opened this bottle and I did the smell test, I can really smell a lot of the fresh cut grass and a little bit of the fresh cut wood. And when I first opened this, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this because I'm not a huge fan of fresh cut grass, which probably goes back to dealing with my grass allergies and coaching varsity football. Those were some of the worst mornings when you'd show up and you realize that they had just freshly cut the grass just before practice. And it was a doozy. So fresh cut grass is not necessarily my favorite. So, but I'm like, you know what? I got to try this. I'm going to put it in beard, see what happens. And just like almost every oil I've ever tried, it does drastically change once it's in the beard. And the grass, you can smell that for the first couple minutes. That really is strong when you first put it in the beard for a couple minutes. But after wearing it for a few minutes, you start to really pick up more of the leather and a little bit more of the fresh cut wood. Now, some people concern themselves with the bubblegum scent. The bubblegum is not overbearing at all. It's the bottom note of all of this, but it gives it just enough sweetness to round those others together so those leathers, woods, and grass are not super overbearing. All right, so let's talk about the scent profile Fruit Loops as well. So Fruit Loops, you will see here, the scent profile is orange, grapefruit, bergamot, and lemongrass. Now, when I first opened up this bottle and did the smell test in bottle, and it still smells like it today, um, you can't really pick up any one scent, but it does really smell like when you open up a brand new box of the cereal Fruit Loops. And this brought back a lot of childhood memories for me when I was growing up back in the 80s, when I would wake up on a Saturday morning at like 8 o'clock just to watch all those Saturday morning cartoons, which I really miss and I wish kids today had that experience. But I would wake up at 8, I would turn on the cartoons, I would go and make myself a bowl of cereal. Usually it was Fruit Loops or Lucky Charms. Um, but when I smell through this bottle and put it in beer, there's not any one specific scent that stands out. It's just a really good all around citrusy sweet scent. Um, in beer, like I said, it doesn't change much once it's in beer. It's one of those few scents that I've tried that really doesn't change at all. Um, but this is definitely a scent profile that I enjoy wearing for late spring and summer as it does have that citrusy scent. So although it's called Fruit Loops, and something you're like, oh, it's going to smell like cereal, it is actually a really good spring slash summer scent for any day of the week. So now let's go into our conclusion about Lucky 13 Beard Company. Lucky 13 does provide a very solid product, and if you take a peek at their website, you will notice that they have a great variety of scent profiles in both oils and butters. And what I really like is they go with the theme of Lucky 13 because their price point on everything is currently $13, no matter whether it's an oil or a butter. But you can also buy a combo of the two for $24. Their products, they are solid. They give those that are a little bit more budget concerned a manageable price point for good quality product. Is it going to do anything fancy for your beard? No, but is it going to help soften the beard and take care of the skin underneath? For sure. All while making sure you smell good. And like I said, they do have a wide variety of scent profiles. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. 
I will be posting the link to their website and their Instagram in the description down below. Don't forget to click that thumbs up. Please leave some comments and feedback, whether it's about my video or about Lucky 13 Beer Company. If you've tried it out, leave feedback because your feedback matters just as much as mine because not everything is going to do the same for me as it does for you. And then also, last but not least, please hit that subscribe button. Remember that you can also follow me on Instagram at bearded underscore RDU. And you can always email me for whatever reason it is, whether you're a company that wants to work with me, if you're a bearded brother that just wants to reach out, you need someone to talk to, or you just want some questions answered about products overall, you can email me at bearded.rdu at gmail.com. And as always, you know what's coming. Rock on.